Good morning guys! It's Eurovision weekend! Well, I'm really excited about that. Trevor and I really like Eurovision. We're gonna make some um, Eurovision themed food this afternoon, but this morning we're on our way to Ludlow Food Festival. So we're just getting ready now and then we're gonna go. Trevor's made chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast and we're having a coffee and then we're gonna hop on the train to Ludlow. We're in Ludlow now and we're at the train station. We've just picked up our tickets from the train station office to save queuing when we got up to the festival. It looks like it's gonna rain, it's quite windy, but actually when we were here last year it was raining and um, that was good because it kept it a little bit quiet. <laughs> so it's raining quite heavily now, we're a little bit early, so we're gonna check out the market before we go into the food festival. We've just come inside for a coffee to shelter from the rain before the festival starts. Coffee's arrived and it's quite big. <laughs> it's going to be weird all day. <laughs> We're going in. The sun's out and it stopped raining, so I think we're going to see the outside bit now because I don't know how long the rain's going to stay up for. There's a whole load of vintage cars here. Am I right by the castle? It's lovely. This is the wood-fired pizza. <laughs> That's exotic tea cuisine. Brompton Cookery School. There's the two professor girls. The sauce queen. We're inside the castle walls now. They're really nice. Up. This is the What's Cooking stage, and there's lots going on here this weekend. It's quite windy and muddy. So Trevor and I have this plan to get a little camper van and drive over Europe and I'll eat, do all the eating and he'll enter all the triathlons. Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? We're going into the beer tent now. There is a lot of beer. <laughs> so we were thinking, it's only 10.30, it's a little bit early for beers, but some of them are already sold out. Looks like lots of people have been enjoying this one, which was first in its category. This lady's making butter, hand churned butter. I think we need some of that. Look how pretty it is. And they've got the buttermilk. I'm just quite excited by the flowers. I think we're going to try this. Oh, oh, oh. It's Mr. Moody. Look at these pots of pudding. I'm quite excited by this one. I didn't even know there was Shropshire asparagus. Um, and show you how we taste cheeses. And then we're going to get you to hang on to half of that cheese and try it with the cider, which is going to come round, or in fact it's the peri, which is going to come round afterwards. So, this so Trevor's after a goat burger for his lunch. It's lunchtime and I'm having this hog roast bath, which looks amazing. Looks like we got on the train just in time. It's raining really heavily now. So we're back home now and I thought I'd do a quick haul of the items that we bought. So we got some asparagus, which was from Shropshire. It was... Um, grown in Bridge North that one was. I got these sausages from Maynard's Farm and they looked like really good sausages and um, I do know a little bit about sausages. If you want to see the video of me judging the national sausage competition I'll pop that in the link below. Um, these ones they were also doing a tasting of and they tasted amazing. They've got a really high pork content and they just like look like good sausages so we got those. This is a Banoffee steam pudding and we thought we might have this later on tonight. It's already been steamed so you just need to warm it up. Trevor got this organic oak smoked flour and the guy was explaining how they um, smoke the oats before they grind it into the flour to give it that kind of taste. And they had a really nice sourdough that was made with that flour. The lady that made this butter was the highlight of the show for me. I spoke to her for ages about how she'd been up this morning churning the butter herself. She spoke about all the different designs on the butter and this is the butter milk. So this was 
what came off all of the butter. She'd been up since like three o'clock this morning making the butters for the show today. And she was dressed all in her old costume. She had her butter churn there. It was really good. The food festival's on tomorrow as well and there's loads so I'll leave the links below if you want to check it out and go. And they also have one that's a little bit bigger that's on in the autumn and I went to that last year. I think I did a blog post on it so I'll link that below as well for you. So this afternoon I'm going to prep some bits and pieces for our Eurovision meal tonight. My foodie pen pal this month is actually in Denmark, which turned out really well. So I emailed her and asked her for a recipe. The other thing that I'm going to try making this afternoon is something that I'm wanting to do for a recipe for the blog. Um, because last weekend we went to Costa Coffee and I had this really nice sticky toffee cooler. It was like an iced drink, but it tasted like Cinder's toffee. And I thought I would like to make that myself so I could have it at home. But when I looked up all of the ingredients, it had like a ridiculous amount of sugar in it, like 65 grams of sugar in it I think it was um, and I want it to be something that I can have quite frequently and I, I just can't really justify putting all of that sugar in it myself so I'm just soaking some dates and I'm going to try and make like a sticky toffee sauce with the dates that I'm soaking. I think it's going to take me a while to, to perfect this recipe so I'm giving it a go this afternoon but once it's blog ready I will have it up to, to share with you all as well. These are the dates I've just covered them with water and I'm going to leave them to soak for the afternoon. So this is the recipe for cabanada I think that's how you pronounce it it's the recipe that my foodie pen pal sent and it's a meat patty that's made with pork mince so you make that into a little patty and then you dip it in the egg and the breadcrumbs and then you put that on the griddle and it goes with a white sauce and peas and carrots so this is our Eurovision dinner it's cabanada which is like a pork patty and you've got the creamy sauce with vegetables in it all that cooking has made me a little bit red and it is not this vodka at all. Although Eurovision is one of my favourite shows, I do think it's the kind of show that you need a two drink minimum to enjoy. So we're going to get those down us and settle in for the night and watch Eurovision. Have a great week guys and I'll see you next week.